Andrew walks out of his meeting, completely exhausted. After three long days of negotiating, he has finally worked out a deal that is sure to get him a promotion. Despite the fact that he has an early flight back to New York in the morning, Andrew decides to have a few drinks at the pub across the street. He has been in London for three days and has not seen any of the city. He cannot leave without at least visiting a pub, he thinks. He quickly crosses the street and walks through the door of the pub. He notices a coat rack next to the door and carefully hangs his coat from one of the hooks. Andrew does not really consider it to be his coat though. It was his father's coat, but it was passed down to Andrew after his father died last year. Almost every memory Andrew has of his dad involves him wearing the dark red coat. Andrew walks to the bar and orders a drink. After he has finished, the bartender asks if he wants another drink. Andrew checks his watch and sees his plane is leaving in five hours. He decides he needs to go. He regrets picking a flight so early in the morning, but knows he will be able to sleep on the plane. He pays for his drink, grabs his coat, and leaves. It has gotten much colder outside since Andrew went into the pub, so he tries to slip his coat on. He sticks his arm in the sleeve, but the hole at the end is too small for his hand. He tries the other sleeve, but the coat is too small to stretch across his back. He takes it off and looks at it. It looks like a shrunken version of his coat. He checks the pocket and finds a wallet that is definitely not his. He opens it up and sees an ID with a picture of a woman. Her name is Erin. She has dark brown hair and green eyes. A cute girl, Andrew thinks, but he does not have time to worry about that. He returns to the bar and checks the coat rack. His coat is gone. There are two brown coats and a black one, but not a single red. He walks around the bar, thinking that maybe Aaron got cold and put his coat on, but there are no women in the whole place. He stands still, trying to decide what to do. He cannot leave his dad's coat in London and Aaron probably needs her wallet. He types the address from her ID into his phone and sees that her house is only a few blocks away. He walks through the night. It is getting colder and his thin dress shirt does not keep him warm. He finds the house and knocks on the door. When the door finally opens, the woman standing behind it is definitely not Aaron. This woman is in her 80s with bright gray hair. Does a woman named Erin live here? No, no one lives here but me. Do you know her? Oh yes, that's the girl who lived here before me. I saw her when she was moving out. She's a cute little thing, isn't she? Do you know how I can contact her? It's kind of urgent. Well I don't really know her. I could call the landlord. Let's see if he knows anything. Well if it wouldn't be too much trouble. No trouble at all. The woman invites him in and he sits on the couch. She goes into the kitchen and he hears her talking on the phone. She comes back and sits on the couch. She must be pretty special. Oh, no. I've never met her. The landlord says he doesn't know how to contact her, but he did give me the name of a club she likes to go to. I don't know if it'll help. Andrew types the address written on the paper into his phone and sees it as a 10-minute walk away. And he sees that his plane leaves in four hours. He thanks the old woman and rushed as quickly as he can to the club. Inside the club, he searches through the crowd but cannot find Erin anywhere. Nobody looks anything like her. He steps outside the club and leans against the wall. He doesn't even notice the woman leaning against the wall next to him wearing a red coat that is clearly too big for her. She notices him though. That coat would be warmer if you were wearing it. Andrew looks up to see Aaron staring right at him. Wait, you're Aaron. I know, but that's weird that you know. I've been looking for you all night. You're wearing my coat. We accidentally swapped coats at the pub earlier. How did you find me? She smiles as she says this. Her smile is a lot more beautiful in person. 
It's a long story. Wait, I was at the pub like two hours ago. Have you really been chasing me around for that long? Well, I was chasing the coach, really. Ander says, starting to blush. I like a person that's committed to his coat. Aaron slides off Ander's coat and hands it to him. He slips it over his shoulders and feels Aaron's lingering warmth. I like long stories. Want to get a cup of coffee and tell me about your night? Sure. Andrew smiles at her and knows he will miss his plane in a few hours, but he does not care.